New VCU head coach Ryan Odom, welcome back to Central Virginia. Yes. I imagine this was a layup of a decision for you, but how long did you have to agonize over it once you realized it was a possibility? Yeah, it was pretty quick. I mean, you, you hit the nail on the head there. I mean, once the, the offer came from Ed and Dr. Rao, you know, it was apparent, you know, my wife and I had talked about it and, uh, you know, it's just, it's an opportunity you couldn't pass up. And I think I said it in my press conference. I don't view it as an opportunity, really. I view it as a responsibility. And when you think about all the coaches, former coaches that have walked the sidelines, you know, way back, and all the players that have played here and helped, you know, create this proud tradition, you know, our staff feels a major responsibility to continue it, keep it going, but also elevate it. How connected do you feel to not just this program, but this entire region in the Mid-Atlantic where you've spent the majority of your playing and coaching career? Yeah, I mean, a tremendous amount. I mean, you know, playing at Hampton Sydney for Coach Shaver, all of my college teammates, I'm getting text messages from, you know, group texts from, from, from those guys that live in the area and those that are beyond. And then also, you know, working, you know, in the area. You know, if you really think about it, my career has surrounded, you know, Richmond, you know, in a lot of ways. Grew up in Charlottesville when dad was coaching over there as a youngster, third grade to ninth grade. Uh, go to Hampton, Sydney, or move to Winston, and then uh, go to Hampton, Sydney, finish there, play there, and then start my coaching career, and I've kind of, I've kind of surrounded it. And so it's, it's awesome to be right in the middle. And, uh, and you know, my career's taken me south to Florida, and then also North Carolina. And obviously the obvious, you know, uh, UNBC and American time up there in the D.C. and Baltimore area and Virginia Tech. And so uh, it's exciting for me. It's great to reconnect with folks, you know, here in the area, coaches, AAU coaches, high school coaches, friends. Uh, it's a really special uh, time for us. It Obviously, under a transition like this, the portal hit this program incredibly hard this week. Yeah. How much of your job for the first couple of days is going to be not only reassuring some of the guys who still have an opportunity to return, yeah. but rebuilding that roster? Yeah, we can't give up on the guys that have put their name in the portal at this point. Doesn't mean we can change it, um, but you know these transitions are hard and um, they're not easy because the coach-player relationship is so strong. Coach Rhodes did such a good job here. Um, and, and certainly he's somebody that I, I'm a close friend with and uh, you know, I'm excited for him and the next opportunity. Um, but the portal is an important part of our, our game now and it doesn't mean you have to live totally in the portal um, because you never want to forget the high school players or the international players. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that you're putting the puzzle together and put the, get the right pieces to fit with who's able to stay. But my, the, my most important job right now is to you know, communicate and gain the trust of, of the guys that are here. And lastly, I know he is still a huge influence in your life. How much might we see your dad around the BDC and games and how much will he be coming to Richmond? That's really special you know, for us. Obviously being at Utah State, you know, he'd have to get on a plane to come out there. So he did that once a year. Loved every second of it. He loved those guys uh, with all his heart. He'll be able to get here more now. You know, being from Winston-Salem and, and having the opportunity to get in the car and come up here, you know, stay for a week or two, um, even though, you know, he'll probably get on me uh, after practice or whatever. But that's, that's what I signed up for, right? He's, uh, he loves the game. He's still crazy for the game. He doesn't miss all the other stuff, but he loves the practices and being around the players.